Okay, YouTube, we have got ourselves a little project here. Uh, I have had this uh, Game Boy Advance for quite some time, probably six months or longer. And if you can look and tell, it is just nasty. I mean, there's dirt all up in this. It's just nasty and grimy. The, uh, the lens cover is all scratched. Scratched the hell of that. Um, it does work. And so what we're going to do is, I got this kit in from AliExpress. This only took two months to get to me. Only two months. But we've got a new shell that has been pre-cut uh, on this back, back side here. It's already been milled out and ready for the new... IPS screen that's going to go into it and so we're going to install this we've got the ribbon cable here there will be a little bit of soldering done so we've got you know three wires here and uh, these three wires one is going to be um, uh, soldered to the select uh, TP2 point on the board and the L and R are going to be soldered to the left L and R uh, solder points and what that's going to do is that's going to give us a 10 level brightness adjustment much like the Game Boy Advance SP 101 where it just has uh, the one level of brightness adjustment you can sit there and you know mash the button a couple of times and it gets brighter and dimmer uh, this is going to give us 10 points of brightness adjustment. So first thing we need to do is take this Game Boy Advance apart and get to the board on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Now in order to take this apart, you're going to need a tri-wing uh, screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. You've got one Phillips head screw right here and then you've got six uh, tri-wing screws on the outside. Okay, so we've got all the screws removed. We can go ahead and lift up the back off just like that. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to give this original shell a bath and completely clean it up as best I can because this sticker is still good. It's not ripped up. Uh, it just needs a thorough clean. The, the new shell came with, with new membranes, a set of screws. Uh, new buttons. All right, next step that we want to take is uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the board. Now let's get this board removed. There are a couple of uh, Phillips head screws. There we go. We can just set that aside. I don't need that. All right, so on the on the board, the contacts for the wiring, like I said, you're going to have the L and R and the TP2 right here. This contact right here. That's where one wire, that's your, that's your select wire. And then your other contacts are going to be the left contact for the uh, left switch and the left contact for the right switch and that should give us all of our points but first we need to clean this and uh, give it a thorough clean with some IPA clean all the contacts clean the speaker and uh, let's go ahead and do that okay so another good idea while we're going ahead and cleaning it is to go ahead and remove these these rubber grommets on the switch and you just take your 
pair of tweezers and remove those. We're going to drop some IPA down in here and uh, let those get a good cleaning. Drop some directly down in there. Okay, so got that back in. We're just going to go ahead and give it a couple of presses. And we'll do the same with the other one. Just like that. And go ahead and tap it a couple of times. Get something down in there. And then give that a good wiggle. A lot of times if you're not getting power, you can start by cleaning the power switch. It might have some some dirt and dust build up. Okay. Give these a wipe. And now that we have that cleaned up, let's go ahead and get it somewhat installed into the shell here. So we can go ahead and test our screen to make sure that they didn't send us a faulty one. Just like that. And we can put some batteries in, power up the power switch, and it comes on. Make sure there's no cracks in it. And there's not. Okay, so I've gone ahead and wired up the ribbon cable. And so our next step is going to be to go ahead and get the screen laid down. Provided is a uh, double-sided sticky that fits perfectly. It's going to fit in there like that. And then we'll lay the screen down. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we got the screen installed. We've got the the 3M double sided sticky laid down and then the spacer, big spacer goes down here small spacer there on the left laid that down, we went ahead and laid down the glass screen protector so now we can lay in the buttons and get the board put in, get the cable connected and we should be good to go okay so got the shell put back together inserted all the buttons so now, our final step is to throw some batteries in, throw a game in, see if this works. Fantastic, turns on, we got the Nintendo logo. Okay, now let's... Let's turn it back off. Okay, it reads the game. Let's turn it on again. We'll hold the select, and it's getting brighter. Fantastic. And it's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Fantastic. 